Well, hello everybody. This is kind of going to be my first video posting up here, which is all cool. We're going to see how this goes. Um, been working on stuff for a while, kind of projects, stuff like that. And I figured why not just kind of share with everybody else what all we got going on and maybe this goes somewhere, maybe it don't, but hopefully, uh, somebody can learn something from it or somebody can teach me something in the comments or something. So here we go. Picked up this truck the other day and we are going to fix this thing. We're going to get it up and going. Um, probably going to do some patchwork, paint work, stuff like that. And we're going to see uh, what we can make happen with this whole thing. What we've got is an 84 GMC. Picked this thing up out of Illinois. Price was right. Been wanting one for a long time. It's got some issues on it. Some rust here. Rust here. All this stuff. Anybody knows old square bodies knows it's kind of what you deal with when you have an old square body. It's got these kind of rare wheels. I've only ever seen these on one other truck. Seen many pictures of them, but Going to kind of give a quick walk around here. Currently does not run. But the individual I bought it from said that it did run. They uh, tried putting a carburetor on it. They said the original carburetor was bad. They tried putting a holly on a Rochester intake and couldn't figure out why it wouldn't run. So we're hoping that it's just as simple as we're going to smack a carburetor on this thing and see what we can make happen. Not a bad old truck, especially for the price. We'll get the hood popped open and show you what we're working with here. Okay, this is what we got. It's a little bit of a basket case. They tried putting this carburetor on that intake. Couldn't figure out why it wouldn't run. Well, if you know, you know. It's not a bad old truck, pretty greasy, pretty nasty looking. We're fixing to clean that up here in just a minute. It is a 454 truck, which I didn't know until I went to pick it up. So, you know, bonus for me. Weird thing is it's an automatic, weird for me. At least I'm used to all sticks, but we have a hydraulic pump here and hydraulic lines. I know the wiring stuff and everything looks crazy, but we're gonna get all that cleaned up. So this is a good before and I'm going to hop off here for just a second. I'm going to start washing and cleaning on it and we're going to see what it looks like when I'm done. Okay. So now I think we've got it just about as good as it's going to get for the time being. So much stuff in the way. It's really kind of hard to get a good detail and everything else. As far as getting the grease and the nasty crap off. But there's the underhood part of it. Got it all cleaned up. Go around here. Take a quick look at the inside. I've got parts, I've got plenty of parts trucks, so a lot of this stuff won't be a big deal. Honestly, it's not bad. It's got some rust there, same spot on the other side. Like I said, if you know square bodies, it's got it in there in all the usual spots. Door don't shut too bad for not being lined up. But there she is. That's going to be the start of our project. We're going to take and go through it and keep updates and videos coming. Now I work a full-time job, so this is kind of like a hobby of mine for now. So I'll try to upload a video every week of some kind of progress, anything, but 
Don't get in no great big hurry because there won't be a big hurry. All right. Thank you. That'll be all for now.